The protesters were out at first light in one of São Paulo's poorer suburbs. Their plan was to march to the city centre and make sure that their voices and their demands were heard. I'm here to fight for a better place to live and for education and health care. I believe the president has recognised our demands and we will achieve victory. We're just here to demonstrate peacefully. Just hours after President Rousseff made her promises of major new reforms, major new investments, this crowd here in Sao Paulo is back out on the streets again demanding more. They say they want to see actions, not just words. They don't believe her. And so they brought the traffic in this part of Sao Paulo to a standstill. Making it harder for you to get to work? Yes, very hard. Do you support the protest? Yes, I support. Uh, I agree. Because uh, many, many reasons for this, uh, the problem of Brazilian people. So several hours and several kilometers into this march, the protesters are still going strong. As you can see here, they've now taken over one of the main roads into the city. But unlike previous demonstrations here, there's been no confrontation with the police at all. It's been totally peaceful so far. And just up there, you can see, in fact, the police are escorting these demonstrators. The president has promised reforms, promised investment, but you're still here. Why? It, it, it's not a reality right now. The president is it's, it's suffering uh, a pressure for everybody. Now it's exactly the moment to be on the street. We, we didn't have all the reforms that we were supposed to have with our development, and we're fighting for them right now. Well, protests like this one are obviously nothing like the scale of what we have seen here in São Paulo and across Brazil, but even groups like this are managing to cure, cause huge disruption. Despite the president's promises of reforms and major investment, the people here still think there's plenty to fight for.